If you're thinking about moving to Menifee, California, you may want to hold off on that thought if you don't like it. Hey, Jose here, your SoCal Realtor. If you are thinking about buying or selling a home, don't hesitate to reach out. My team and I, we are here ready to help you with your real estate needs. Okay, so what's so bad about Menifee, California? Honestly, I wouldn't say Menifee is a bad destination. Now, there are a few things that you obviously want to make sure you're aware of, but no, I, I wouldn't say it's a bad destination. Not with all the growth that the city has seen over the last 10, 20 years now. I mean, currently the population here in Menifee, it's just over 116,000 people. But if you go back to the year 2010, the population of Menifee, it was only about 77,000 people. And if you go back to the year 2000, it was only about 42,000 people here. I mean, I've personally had people tell me that, Jose, that's why we moved out here to Menifee 10, 20 years ago is because Menifee was a small town back then. Now, fortunately, it's not like LA busy, not even close to that, but honestly, it's not even Riverside busy. And by busy, meaning in terms of population, it's, it's not even comparable to Riverside. In fact, if we're being honest here, I, I would say in terms of busyness, it, Menifee's, honestly, it's probably not that far off from being the, the same as most average cities here in the Inland Empire. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm not saying Menifee is, you know, among the smallest cities here in the Inland Empire, but it's nowhere close to being the biggest either. Of course, with all that population growth, with all the people coming in, it does bring traffic too. I wonder what's causing all this traffic. Again though, with all that growth, there are more cars on the road here. Especially streets like Newport Road, the exit here off the 215 freeway drops you off pretty much right in the heart of the shopping here for the city of Menifee. But honestly, I would have to say that Murrieta Road and Menifee Road, they can both get pretty bogged down too with traffic seeing as how these are the two main streets that connect the, the north side to the south side of the city. Now, I don't know if I would say that they're any busier than any, any other main streets in other cities that are comparable in size here in the Inland Empire, but the fact remains, they, they have gotten busier. With only one freeway that connects here in Menifee, the 215 freeway, trust me, it can get pretty busy if, if you are trying to commute out of town, which actually brings me to another thing to consider. Like I just said, Menifee has done a lot of growing over the last few years, but here's the thing. Most of that growth has been more residential community growth. Uh, not as much in terms of you know companies coming here, job opportunities, uh, you're going to find that most of the people that do live in Menifee, they do tend to commute for work. Not necessarily saying that, you know, they commute long distances, but they do commute. Now, I'm not saying that there's, you know, no job opportunities here. It's a big goose egg. Nothing. I'm not saying that. It's just that the job opportunity growth, it hasn't grown anywhere near the same pace or the same uh, rate as the residential community has grown here. While I understand that there are gonna be people that, that might not like the idea that they, they may have to commute for work, I, on the other side, I have had people tell me that, Jose, I, I love that. I love not having a bunch of large businesses and large companies here in, in our community. So I, I don't know if I could say it's necessarily a good or a bad thing. I guess this one kind of comes down to personal preference. There's another limitation here in Menifee the entertainment and the uh, nightlife. It's time to boogie. Yeah, unfortunately, one of the things Menifee is not known for, and that's its nightlife. I mean, there's just, there's not a lot of bars here. There's not a lot of nightclubs here. In fact, actually, many of the restaurants that are here, they, they do tend to close a little bit earlier. Now, yes, there, there are some that stay open later, just not a lot. Not to mention that there's still a limited number of uh, upscale or, or fancy restaurants that are here in Menifee. And, and, and again, not, not to say that there's none. It's just that for more options or, or more selection, you're, you're probably going to see yourself traveling to some of the cities next door. Yeah, I mean, you have Murrieta, you have Temecula, Riverside. They, they're all either right next door or, or almost. I mean, they're, they're nearby. And truthfully, these are some of the cities that you'll probably find yourself commuting to for just more options, more selections on things like bars or nightclubs or or those restaurants that uh, stay open late. Yeah, I mean, the population has grown here, the traffic has grown here, but I guess you could say Menifee, it, it's fighting to, to try and keep that small town feel. Here's another thing you're gonna wanna consider if you are moving here to Menifee, and, and honestly, this one may not come as much of a surprise, but oh, it gets hot out here in the summer. Why is it so freaking hot in here? Listen, this isn't beach weather. You're not looking at mild, mid 80 degree summers and, and cool, no. I mean, you're looking at easily breaking 90 degrees in the summer. In fact, honestly, 
if we're being real here, be prepared, it will break 100 degrees. Is it always over 100 degrees in the summer? No. Not necessarily. I, I'd be lying if I said it doesn't go over 100 degrees, but I mean, it's not necessarily, you know, nonstop every, every day over 100 degrees. Uh, but keep in mind, though, we are in the Inland Empire out here. And, and truth be told, when it's summer, it gets pretty hot everywhere out here. Of course, though, if you do have any questions at all, or if you are thinking about buying or selling, my contact information is below. Feel free to reach out. Otherwise, until then, catch you on the next one.